Hello, we're here with Mr. Williams of the Haroma Children's Home here in uh, Goba, uh, Dar es Salaam, Tanzania. And so, Mr. Williams, how are you today, sir? Great. All uh, right, nice to meet you. And on behalf of Royal Selfish Shia and God Family Nation, it's nice to meet you. And we thank you for inviting us and allowing us to come into the Children's Center here. And so what I want to ask is, how long has the Children's Center been in operation? How long have you operated the Children's Center here? Uh, most like 15 years now. Okay. About 15 years. And how many children would you say is uh, reside in the home now, in the Children's Center now? Uh, now we have like, 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 like 22. 22? From age 6 okay. to above 18. Okay. So yeah. children uh, range from age uh, yeah. 6? Yeah. So, 18? About and above. Uh, and above, okay. Yes. Okay. And so, what was it that inspired you to develop this center and to, you know, take the children in and to minister, and to minister to the children like this? Yeah. Uh, for sure, when I was young, mm -hmm. This is it's, it's my, my dream. <laughs> okay. But uh, I've grown up in a family where we live with orphans together. Okay. And my late father was, uh, was a pastor. Okay. So when I came in Jerusalem in 2006, I, I, I came for looking for a job and, uh, and school to start. And I am a teacher. But uh, before looking for the jobs or a school, the first thing I look for the church. Okay. And, uh, I went to church and I uh, met my pastor there okay. and uh, we make a, a good relationship with him. We talk a lot and we share, he told me a thing about something like uh, that orphanage and he didn't know how to do that. So together we share the ideas and uh, we studied and uh, by that time I was uh, a teacher and even today they just called me teacher even my children they call me teacher not father <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yes yeah. and because uh, as many uh, as children came here they was uh, poorly academically they didn't know how to write how to study so I used to teach them with the uh, preschool around and uh, having uh, evening classes but uh, in the year 2011, that is, was at uh, the time my wife and I, we came to take over to, to as uh, the head of the ministry until now, yeah. Okay. So now, well, one of the things, you know, in the scriptures of Moses, I say, uh, command us to be a father to the fatherless, mm -hmm. you know. And so we commend people like yourself for taking this mission upon yourself, you know, and uh, doing this work of the ministry to work with the most high you know and uh you know it's a really good work and it's actually put in the scriptures in action not just in, in word not just um in verb you know not just speaking it but actually doing it you know and so like i said we just commend you and uh you know we just say that it's a good work and so what are some of the things that you guys uh, need here, or what are some of the what are some of the things that you see that the children actually need? Okay, uh, we thank God. Uh, it's now a month since we have a new house for the girls. Okay, and I will show you there down. Yes, we have the new house. The first time we had this one, this one for the all kids, the boys, the wing one, the boys, and the second wing mm -hmm. for for girls. Okay. But now we want to take this as an office because we want to expand our preschools so that we can generate income to support the kids through the schools. Okay. Now we have a uh, few classes with a few student kids who came outside. Okay. But uh, now we are looking forward to have uh, the house for the boys. Because uh, I have some boys who are studying in high school and that they can stay together with the young one there. So they need some house to stay. And then now what I do, I rent some uh, a room outside there to okay. the those boys. So we have space. And now we are looking and praying if we can have a, a small house for the bigger boys. And after graduating from school, they can start preparing themselves and then start 
to look into the jewel. So they're carrying that down. There's things that are I'm praying for, regardless of the normal needs like the clothes and the fishing fees and the foods. Yeah. 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 So, so those are the things that the younger yeah. children have need of: mm-hmm. clothing, mm-hmm. food, and shoes. And yeah, shoes up there, yeah. and the fish. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, for you guys who may be watching, you see that that the younger kids can use clothing, shoes, and food, and that's the thing. I mean, those are the biggest things of the charity, right there. When it comes to children, being able to clothe them, to feed them. And hey, to make sure that they have their necessities. Uh, for the older guys, the older boys, you need uh, housing. So we don't know how well we'll be able to uh, meet that need, but whatever need we can meet, you know, your donations will definitely be appreciative. And if the Most High will put it on your heart to give, I'll say to obey that function to do so. So yeah, so what we want to do is we want to bring our charity group here. You know, we want to schedule a day to come and visit, you know, send the children here at Hiroma. Yep. And, you know, we want to just interact with the children, encourage the children, pray with them, eat yeah. with them, and have a good time, you know. And uh, what we are able to provide, we definitely will. You know? And uh, if you would like to show us around, yeah. then we will be happy to, you know, look at the space and check the whole center out. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs>tests bad when sent to the lab so they're not able to use it so one of the other things that they have need of is water and they have uh, a usage of 2,000 liters per day with the amount of children that they have here so you know we got to try to get them some clean water also okay so keep that in mind when you know thinking about the donations that everybody deserves clean water and that's one of the things we want to do. We want to make sure that they have all of their needs. So when you think about it, think about the clean water and what clean water means to you, what it means to all of us. just completed the pre-visit here at the Haroma Children's Home with uh, the Bogo Williams. <laughs> All right. Well, it's nice to meet you, sir. And uh, we thank you, like I said, for extending a welcome to us here today. And we got the list of the things that, you know, the children need or the things that will be beneficial. And now we have a date set. And what we're going to do is take this opportunity to ask the people, the audience, the view this pre-visit please consider the donations consider you know the needs of the children the needs of our children as I always emphasize our children and know that every donation that you give to us is going to the charity no not a dollar is going into any of our pockets personally 
It all goes to the ministry for what your intentions or the donations are. And on behalf of Royal Scepter, or Yeshaya, and God Family Nation, we say thank you in advance for the donations that you will provide. And thank you, Mr. Williams, for inviting us here and allowing us to come. And we will return and have this uh, event on November 26th. Karim Sana. All right. <laughs> <I forgot. laughs> Sante Sana. <laughs>